Greetings, it is Max so Diddly here, and today I'm here with another C Sharp tutorial to be given a in your coursework. And today we're here with reading from a CSV file. So last time we looked at how to write a record to a comma separated value file in C Sharp, and today we're going to be looking at how to read a record based on a search term that you provide. So let's get right into it. So I've created a little print here to print if we find a record or not. So here we're gonna we got we're gonna use two methods for this program. One's gonna be to check if records match, and one's gonna be to actually to read a record. We're gonna come back to the, the second one later, but let's get right into our read record method. So it's a public static method. It's a string array, which means it's going to return a string array where the method was called. It's called read record, and it takes in a string called search term, a string called file path, and an integer called position of search term. So let's get right into what that actually means. So we have our cake.txt file. Uh, we have a record, which is one line, and each record is made up of three fields, ID, name, and age. When you do this, you can have as many records and as many fields as you like. However, I'm using this as an example to demonstrate how it works. So let's say we want to find the first record that has an ID of 125, we would pass in 125 in the file path. And we'll be like, okay, is this field 125? No, this is not the record. Is this field 125? No, it's not. Let's skip the record. Is this field 125? Yes, it is. Let's return this record because we found a match. Now, you can set the search term to be any field you want. Make sure you get that correct to prevent any weird errors from occurring. So now that we explained it, let's get right into the tutorial. So we're going to be passing the search term as a string, the file path as a string, and the position of the search term. That's going to be which field does the search term belong to. In this case, is it ID, name, or age? File path is obviously the file we're going to be searching through, and search term is going to be that condition, that field we're going to be looking for to see if it matches any records. So first, we need to get these two out of the way. Position a search term, minus, minus. This allows the method to be more user-friendly. When you look at a field, you instantly assume, okay, this is field 1, this is field 2, this is field 3. However, in programming, this would be referred to as field 0, this would be referred to as field 1, and this would be referred to as field 2. This could be kind of misleading to someone who's actually writing code. So we're just going to basically, okay, if we minus minus, then this becomes field 1, this becomes field 2, and this becomes field 3, if we type in 1, 2, or 3, which is why we're doing minus minus. Uh, string record not found, we just created an array of potential error messages to return to the user if there's a weird error that occurs or a record hasn't been found. Just setting it up just in case. Now we need to do a try and a catch. With try catch, we try a block of code. If it works, great, we continue running the program. If it fails, we execute this block of code and then continue with the program. We want to have an exception ex and then have a little error handling functionality in our program. So we do, we write to the program, this program did an oopsie. We return record not found, which will be this message, record not found. Then we print the error message into the console so I can debug what's going on. Now if we got that out of the way, let's get into the try-catch. Firstly, we're going to create a string array. This string array is going to store every single line in the file. So we do system.io.file.readAllLines, at, and the file path. Make sure you put the at before the file path or it may not work. In this case, file path will just be here. So just put in that symbol before our variable file path inside the brackets. This again reads every line into a string array, or for us. Now we want to have a nice for loop. So we do for int i equals zero, i less than line stop length and i plus plus. Basically, we're gonna iterate through this whole string array. And every time we're gonna create a sub array called fields, and it's basically going to split each field in a record, basically of one element of an array, up into their own little elements, so we can 
analyze them individually. So essentially just getting all the fields from one record. And then we're going to check if the record has a field that matches the search term. And if it does, then we're going to return records found and we're going to basically stop the whole search and return that record that we just found. If not, we're just going to continue going through the for loop. If we get through the whole for loop and this code doesn't execute, it means we did not find the record we're looking for. So we're just going to return record not found, which will just return this message. Now, you might think that's all fine and good. However, this isn't a C sharp method. This is a custom method and we haven't done anything. That's correct. So we're going to go into what we have to do for that right now. So in public static bool record matches, we have a string search term, a string array of the record. This is going to be passing in all of the fields, which creates one record. And we're going to do int position of search term. And what we're going to do is a simple if statement. If the record position of search term is equal to search term, then return true. So let's go back to the example I gave before in our cake.txt file. Let's say that we want to check, we want to search for a specific user with a specific ID. We pass in one and then pass in an ID. Let's say 256. We check position one of our record and be like, okay, is that equal to 256, aka the search term? No, it's not. Let's move on. Is this equal to 256, aka our search term? Yes, it is. Let's return it. We're essentially doing that. We are just checking if the position of the search term of the record we're looking at is equal to the search term. And if, if that doesn't return true, then we just return the false because it isn't a match. And that's all the code. So we're going to now call our method. So we're going to do a console.write line string.join. String.join basically just converts a string array into one string. So we could just print it out to show that we can read any record we want. And then you do string.join blank, then, then we call the method inside. Read record, we're going to pass in 124 as the search term. Cake.txt is the file to search through and one because that's going to be the position where we, we expect to find our search term which in this case is going to be an ID number. So it's going to be position one because it's the first field of a record. Let's click play. And we actually forgot to do something really important. We need to do a console.read line after. As you can see, it said record found and it returned one, two, four, mercy and 56. As far as I know, that is a record within here. Oh, look, it is. So you were able to successfully read the record. So guys, thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. If you got a request, leave it in the comments below. And if you want to see more, subscribe. I will be posting more C-Sharp and Java tutorials. Thanks for being a great audience. I'll see you next time.